I guess upon uh, showing off the car again, I guess I would check and show all the everything else works. There's the sliding seat belt, which I do prefer. A lot of people hate them. I like them. You never have to stop and remember to put your seatbelt on. You just close the door and you're good to go. Um, there's the driver's window. Automatic auto lock up. Uh, here is the right front. Left rear, a oh, right rear, excuse me, and left rear. By the way, there's all the Christmas trees we picked up. Yep, running good. I put a little bit of gas in there. I don't think I even moved the gauge, but at least I know I put like almost a gallon in there. Half it's built out. Oh, there we go. Radio work. It's not screwed in. I might put Sony back in here. I might give my mom the Sony. Alright. Gas needs to be lubed up a bit. Oh, I guess it's okay now. Oh, shoot. No. Just have to work it slowly. Let's take us for a little spin. Uh. Oh, duh, put the brake off. Derp. Now, with my luck, this thing will probably die then in the driveway. So nice that power steering. This thing has the best power steering. It's so easy to turn, like, just, mmm. You just drive with a thumb or a finger. Now the check engine lights back on so I can diagnose that. It's probably something stupid like the I don't know. I mean anything. But it still runs and as as far as long as my dad had it, never had it never I mean I always had a check engine light on. Still shifts. This thing shifts and the clutch is so much smoother than my car. Like I don't know what year it was, maybe I'm guessing probably eighty eight when they updated like all the controls and everything. But right about the time, right about that, that time, probably 88, I guess, or 89, uh, just the shifter, it just shifts so much smoother than my car. My car, you have to, like, uh, pull out the, the clutch, like, slower. You can't just do this and rip it out. It's, you can, you know, you can do a speed clutch, what do you call it, a uh, speed shift to pull the clutch out, you know, like that, and it, it'll be still smooth. In my car, you pull it out, you'll, like, go, we're going, and kind of jerk to it. I think this is hydraulic clutch and mine's clutch, uh, cable clutch. I'm not really positive though, it's just what I, I'm guessing. But uh, yeah. It's got that cracking window in case you've never seen it before. Good thing my car doesn't have something like that. That's why it's got rain on the inside, condensation. Turn this around. Ow! Freaking elbow at myself in the console. Ah! But hey, with power steering. I don't even have to think about steering. Like, my car's like... Grrr. It's not really hard if you're moving, but if you're going from a dead stop, it's annoying. I just elbow myself. 
god, right there. I'm not used to the center console. I love this center console because on this one, I have room for like two pop cans, you know? And on my car, the console is half the size down, and I can only like, like, the, the differential shifter is right here, I can fit maybe a pop can right there, and that's about it. And this car has so much space right here, you know? But, I, I switch that off any day, for, I, I, you know, tried that any day for my car with the, the uh, differential switch, because that, that comes in handy. I have I have yet to use it on dry pavement on up a super stiff cliff or a hill. Not bad though. There's all that good stuff to know. It's not too hot. And see this car gets warmed up and never gets past halfway. Mine does. It's kind of scary sometimes. It's actually got almost to the red before, but never overheated. And this car still has my kickers in the door. I'm gonna get those out eventually and put them in my car. I bet they bet anything the kickers are like twice better than JVC cheapos. I mean it shifts so much smoother. Let me back it in so I can see the front end. You could, people diss Subarus like I don't know, not that many, but I know there's people that diss Subarus because like, oh, they're too slow and oh, uh, this that. But you know, they may be slow, these old ones. But you know what? If you if you park them for a couple months, four months, as long as you don't have like rotten gas in there. What the heck I just do? I turn around, all the way around. I'm just so distracted and blonde. Um, my point is, if you park it, whatever, start back up, it'll, it will start. And, you know, as long as you keep oil in there, it'll last forever. Oh. See how he said it's start up. Yeah. And it's been sitting for ever. Not ever. Well, it's been sitting for a long time, but I have started up and drove around every couple months. Oh, I didn't even put it in four wheel drive. Gotta at least do that. Gotta keep everything turning and yearning. Four wheel drive. And yeah, in case you don't know, these older Subarus, push button four wheel drive or the lever four wheel drive, and these older Subarus, um, meaning not Legacy or Impreza, the four wheel drive is real four wheel drive. It's not all wheel drive, which means you don't drive it on dry pavement unless you're going a straight line. Otherwise, it'll ruin up your gears and your ring and pinging. Do some bad damage. And that thing won't stop clicking. Oh well, make all the noise you want. You're still a good running car. But yeah, uh, these are probably better for mud and. Uh, and probably no different in snow because so, snow's not really that difficult. About who you are. That Jeep, these are but, uh, to us. Which is why every Jeep Grand Cherokee yeah. rolls off the line. I didn't know that until I started reading online. Yep, there we go. Steering wheel. The Subaru Loyal lives on. Scoobert. Wait, yeah, Scoobert. Scooby's XT6. No, wait a minute, that's Scooby, this is Scooby. I'm all confused. Well, there you go. A test drive and, uh, yep. 92. Alright, I'm done.